In this video, I'm going to show you how you can live stream to Facebook using OBS. And we're starting right now. Hi there, David Walsh here once again to help you grow your YouTube channel. So whether you want to get the nice effects or just have a better looking video on your Facebook lives, then this video will show you how. So let's jump in. Okay, so here we are in OBS. So uh, what we need to do to go to Facebook is to go down to our settings area here, click on settings. Then we go to stream. So if you have been uh, streaming to YouTube, then you'll you have your YouTube settings here, or you'll have nothing at all. Either way, go to services and then click on Facebook Live. So what we need to do is get our stream key from Facebook. Now, if you haven't done this before, then click on get stream key. So this will bring you to the facebook.com forward slash live forward slash create. This is where we will create our live stream. So all you need to do is come down to the blue button here that says create live stream and click on that. So it's going to open up Facebook's new live producer. So this is similar to what YouTube have had for a while. They brought this out to help people get better live streams, especially if they are live streaming events rather than just doing a live stream from their phone. So we'll just click on the next button here. So for OBS, all we need to do is use a stream key. That's all we need to do. So click on next. So this will allow us to see the health of our stream, comment moderation, live clipping, etc. Just click on done. So we can set up our live streams here. So on the left hand side, you'll see we can go live now. So we can quickly get a stream key and go live. If we want to schedule a live video, we can click on that and we can schedule a video at the particular time that we want. So we could go say next week at uh, any time here, say 10 a.m. in the morning. We have the option here to select an image. We can also put in a bit of a description and then also we just then click on schedule live video. If you don't take an image, it will take the image from your banner and then it will also send out a message to people to say that you have scheduled a video for the date and time that you have selected. So if you want to stream now and you want to go to a page or a group that you're in, go to where it says share to your timeline and then select the page if you want a page or share in a group. So I'm going to select a page and then I will ask you which page do you want. So I will go to VidGrow just for this test. So I can give this a title and then a description. You can also put emojis in your location, anything else that you want. And if you want to cross port to more pages, you can do so as well. So you can do multiple pages that you manage with the one live stream. Now you have other options here for your audience settings, gaming, etc, etc. So you can play with them if you want. So the next thing we need is to get our live stream set up. And Facebook also gives you the URL here. So this is facebook.com forward slash vidgrow forward slash live. So basically it is the page URL, which is facebook.com forward slash vidgrow. And then live is on the end. So now what we want is to get our live stream key. But before we do that, if you are going to stream on this page on a regular basis using OBS, then you want to select use a persistent stream key because then that means that you don't have to come in here every single time, get a new stream key and then paste it into OBS. The same stream key will work every single time. Now, if you do have redundancies and you want to have a backup stream, you can do that too. But for the sake of this video, we don't need to. All we really need to do is copy the stream key here. So click that and then go back to OBS. Then we just need to pop that in there. So the next thing we want to do after we get our key is to go to output. So here we want to make sure that we have the correct settings. So for Facebook, if we look at their recommendations, it says your recommended maximum bit rate is 4000 KPS. Your audio bit rate is 96 to 128. Max frame size is 720p or 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second. So let's pop them into OBS now. So we want to go down to 4000 here. 
Uh, you want to have your keyframe interval at two as well. We'll see here uh, at least every two seconds. We've got H264 as our codec, which is H264 or X264 in this case. If we go to audio, we see that our audio bitrate is 160, which is above the 128 that Facebook recommends. So we can select these and check them down to 128. And again, I don't have all the tracks used, so I will uh, finish there. And then under video, we wanna change this from 1080p to 720p. I'll change this here as well. So that's 720p, 30 frames per second. Now, if you are on 25 frames under PAL, that's fine. So 25 or 30 frames per second is more than good enough. Uh, once you've got your settings in, click OK. So if I click on Start Streaming Now, we should see on our page, and I'm just showing my desktop here, we should see on our page here, we'll see we've got our video popped up. So we'll see there's our video. So the next thing that we need to do is to click on Go Live. So we're not going live just yet on the Facebook page, we're just streaming to Facebook at the moment, and then we need to click on the Go Live button. So if I click on that, now it's connecting to my page, and then we will go live. There you go, we can see it's starting now, and there is our stream coming through. We've got a nice live button here, we've got our timer here, and then any comments that will come through, we will see them on this particular page. So then we can go back to our OBS and we can do what we need to do and we can have someone monitor here for any comments. And if we are streaming an event or anything like that, uh, then that will come through. Or if you're doing a demo like this, then it will come through as you're seeing on the screen. If anything happens, you do have event logs here so you can troubleshoot any issues that you are having. Once you are finished, click on end live video. Do you want to end it? Yes, click on end. And then we are done. And then all we need to do is click on stop streaming in OBS. So how are you gonna use this to stream to Facebook? Are you going to go to your personal profile, business page or group or all of the above? Let me know in the comments area below. And if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell. We upload videos Tuesdays and Thursdays to help you grow your YouTube channel. And if you'd like more tips on how to improve your live streams, then make sure to hit that link right there.